here if you don't take it personally. Nugget wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 69, NASDAQ up 16, S&P's up 7.5, gold contract down $10.30, trading at 1,243 an ounce, silver down 10 cents, $18.14 an ounce, platinum off 5 bucks, 9.49 an ounce, copper flat at 267 a pound, light sweet crude up 83 cents, trading at $50.35 a barrel, notes. 10-year note, down 8 ticks, 124.10. 30-year bond, down 25 ticks, 150.14. King dollar, up 534 ticks, trading at 100.370. The euro is at 106 to the U.S. dollar, and the yen is at 111.78 to the U.S. dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, here you go. You're up 72 cents. Yesterday, we do volume. Okay, so we did 53 million shares. You're at $236.26. You're going into 131 million. The amazing part about this, folks, is that, yeah, it's going higher, and it's contracting, like, pretty amazing. So on Wednesday, on Tuesday, rather, you went higher with 93 million. Now, granted, you still, well... You're coming into 131 million, so that's your benchmark. That's light volume in itself, 93 million. That's Tuesday. Yesterday we do 61 million, and today we do 53. Amazing. Bottom line, it held price. The, the price it did held uh, is this 235.81. That's the swing high from Tuesday. So bottom line, that's saying hey, it can go up into the March 31st, uh, 21st rather high. The contraction and volume is dramatic, but it can happen. Dow Industrials. What do we have in the Dow Industrials? Dow Industrials closed up 69 bucks. You're trading at a price point right now of uh, 20,728. Uh, and what we did here uh, is this, is that the high that was generated last week was 20,757. Um, you're not over that. The high that was ge generated on Wednesday, on Tuesday rather, is 20,735. Now what we did do is this. That is a failure, because you get over that, you couldn't close over it, you do have light of volume. Uh, that's the Dow. The Dow is the weak link uh, in the indices when you look at the Dow, the NASDAQ, the uh, S&P, and the Russell 2000. Um, the comp, the comp's going for its highs. The comp, NASDAQ comp closed at 59.14. The high is 59.28. We made it to 59.16. The NDX 100, the three Q's, closed over its high. Uh, the three Q's... Now, the volume died in the vine here, no doubt. You know, you're going into a downdraft of 35 million. That high, however, is 132.43. We closed at 132.47. Bottom line, 15 million shares going into the 35 million, but you're over a high. That means you can go higher. Gold contract. What do we have with gold? It's going to be a wild Friday, folks. We get gold out here. Uh, you had the gold contract trade down $10.40. We have the roll happening inside this gold contract simultaneously. You're at $12.46 right now. You're trading the active contract is the June contract. Now, you're down to 207,000 contracts. You're going into 283,000. So you're coming down on light of volume. Uh, coming into a Friday, though, it's going to be dangerous. Uh, why? Because when you're taking a look at this bar... The top of this bar was 1250, which is its strength on the 21st of March. The bottom of that bar is 1229. Tomorrow is going to be a big day inside that market, inside the metals market. Now, that being said, what you do have is that inside the metals market, the silver contract held price, and it held price really well, too, uh, which is pretty amazing because silver had been the weak link in the last, like, a good four to five weeks inside that metals market. What we have out here at silver, silver just wouldn't back off. Silver did 62,000 contracts. You're trading at a price point of $18.14, and your swing high out here is $18.54. So it, silver's still saying it wants to push into that level. Notes, the note and bond market continue to say they want higher price. They're down today, they back down. You back down at lighter volume and dramatically lighter volume at that. Uh, we did, we're down seven ticks in the 10-year. 
you've done 974,000 contracts and you're backing into 1.3 million as well as 1.8 million. So that market's going to need a lot more contract volume in order to basically get to lower price to stay to lower price. 30-year, um, same deal. 30 years, you did 190,000 contracts. You're down 25 ticks. That's going into 314,000 contracts. If we take a look at the 10-year, the yield right now, uh, the yield right now is in the 10 years, 2.416. The high for the year for this year is 2.626. Uh, the low, this is pretty amazing when you look at this for the low for the year, the low is 1.358. King dollar, what do you have with king dollar? King dollar is right into its downdraft. Um, so, king dollar, we did 28,000 contracts out here. You are trading 100.365. And it's 100.320. You know, it got, it didn't reject the low of the high, or not of the high of the downdraft. So that's saying it can get up into it more. Now, it's, the volume's dying on the vine. There's no two ways about that. We'll see how far uh, it can get into this bar, uh, if in fact uh, it can get any further into the bar. We go over to the yen. We look at that correlation inside the yen uh, for the metals market. With the, what you have with the yen right now, the yen was up uh, 76 ticks. You're at 111.80. And at 111.80, let's see. Well, that's interesting. So that just jumped in the higher range. You know, that means that that yen can get up to 112.87. We go take a look at the euro. That's a direct correlation of the dollar. The euro come down uh, 82 ticks right now. Now that's going to be coming into some strength at 109, 106. Uh, well, it's actually right there right now. 106.99 to 106.40. This is Tom O'Brien. This is TFNN. You stay right there, folks. We're coming right back. Dow Industrials uh, finished up 69, NASDAQ up 16, S&P's up uh, 7.5. We're going to be right back.